If the EU match our ambition and our pragmatism, that's what our proposals will deliver. I said if, if the EU matches our ambition and our pragmatism. Unfortunately, that wasn't on display at Salzburg. Our Prime Minister has been constructive and respectful. In return, we heard jibes from senior leaders. And we saw a starkly one-sided approach to negotiation, where the EU's theological approach allows no room for serious compromise. And yet we're expected to cast aside the territorial integrity of our own country. If the EU want a deal, they need to get serious, and they need to do it now. At the same time as in any negotiation, we will listen to the alternative ways of delivering on the strategic criteria we've set out because a good deal is the best outcome for everyone. But our willingness to compromise is not without limit. We're leaving the EU in fact, not just in name. If we can't obtain a deal that secures that objective, if an attempt is made to lock us in via the back door of the EEA or the Customs Union, if the only offer from the EU threatens the integrity of our union, then we will be left with no choice but to leave with no deal. That's why the whole of the machinery of government is busy preparing for a no-deal scenario. Not because we want it, not because we think it's likely, but because it might happen. Some people say that no deal is unthinkable. Wrong. What is unthinkable is that this government or any other British government could be bullied by the threat of some kind of economic embargo into signing a one-sided deal against our country's interests. But beyond all the complexities of Brexit, one thing must be sacrosanct. Democracy itself. <laughs> Two years ago, we had a referendum in which more people voted than at any time before or since. Like any national vote, there were claims and counterclaims and plenty of controversy. It was ever thus. Democracy is rough edged, not clean cut. But one thing was crystal clear, and we all know it in our hearts. It was even written on that government leaflet that was sent out to every household. Let me just remind you what it said. This is your decision. The government will implement what you decide. Well, we did decide. It was close, but it was clear. Britain voted to leave the EU. <laughs> Left-wing extremists, long confined to the margins, took their chance and took control of the Labour Party. Today, those extremists are led by Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell. They've captured the Labour Party lock, stock and barrel. And under the nose of Labour's leaders, they're using all the tools in the extremist armoury. Intimidation, fanaticism, scapegoating, especially against Jews. <laughs> the cozying up to Holocaust deniers and terrorists, the casual equation of Jews with the Israeli government, the vicious abuse levelled at their own Jewish MPs. That a once great mainstream party should stoop so low is a stain on Britain. Thank you.